7.96 kilograms, 239 pounds. His record, 34 wins, 2 losses, 28 wins by way of knockouts. He is in the black and red trunks. The former IBF Intercontinental Champion and undefeated former WBU Heavyweight Champion of the World from Baltimore, Maryland in the United States. Please welcome Rasim The Rock Rasim. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for this fight from Turbrun in Belgium, Mr. Daniel van der Wielen. We get to the champion. He weighed in 114.99 kilograms, 253 and a half pounds. His record of 38 wins, one loss, one draw, 29 wins by way of knockout. He's in the white trunks with Red Truman. He breaks to the ring a gold medal from the 88 Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea. He brings with him the WBC, IBF, and the IBO Heavyweight World Titles. He comes from West Ham in London, England, and he is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Glenn Lewis. <laughs> Rossman starting off with his left jab. Understand, look, you get in the ring with the heavyweight champion, you got to become heavyweight champion yourself. When Michael Grant did that kind of thing against Lennox Lewis and Madison, what you're good at, no, it's your battle. Lewis be a little self-conscious yet. Oh, you're Mike. You're the bowling ball. First, that his first five rounds before Lewis landed a huge left hook in the sixth to turn it around and set up a knock. But he leaped in with the right hand. Right hand. I told anyone who will listen here that he would knock Rockman out earlier. A couple of rounds could be significant. Normally, he's hiding his right hand from it. The other weakness that a fighter has is just go after him with the power. Maybe something will happen. Now he's able to get a left jab in. And Lewis, well, Rockman's got this big target that... He can land. Lewis initiating with his jab. Well, Jim outworking him. Stand there, not moving his head. Those things. However, swelling under the left eye of Rachman already here in round three, indicating that Lewis might have caught him with the right hand. Right. The left hook to the body and a left behind. <laughs> Four begins with a Lewis right hand. Rounds two and three. Lennox got a lot of room to punch. Cutting loose just like he is now. The power punches of Lewis. Seemingly beginning to rock the rock. And now Rockman comes back with aggression of his own. Oh, Rockman does keep his hands up. Hands at or below his waist. Rockman is so easy he doesn't want to believe it. Of it. You only get one of these good fights like this. To his right when he jabs. When he performs a little better than you expect him to, he can win the drama of the fight. By Lewis by copy box numbers in the first up to the body once or twice. Then he comes up with that right hand. It's a quandary for the judges. It's the busy hand. He's having trouble seeing out of his back to the ropes. Rockman, jab, 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 jab. Four of them chases Lewis across the ring. Because he wasn't fighting his normal fight. All week long, you were thinking, 
It was shades of Tokyo. There were reminders of Tokyo, Feb 10, 9, 9, 1990, everywhere as they prepared for this fight. Lewis clearly preoccupied with other things in his life. Rockman focusing on the business at hand. All I can say is, for oh, beautiful, <laughs> spacious guys. <laughs> You like having an American heavyweight champion, George? Oh, we can sing the national anthem again. What a story as Hasim Rahman becomes the heavyweight champion of the world in one of the biggest upsets in the history of the division. A shot in the dark as Lewis stood there with his hands down and invited Rahman to hit it. For Lennox Lewis... It was a crumble in the jungle, not a rumble in the jungle. Larry, you better write some stuff down for us now. I'm shocked. I'm in shock. Lewis spent six and a half years rebuilding his reputation after the disaster against McCall. And now he lets it all come apart again on one big right hand. He's Let's look back, Larry, at what happened in the round. Here's the first right hand that seemed to start the trouble. Lewis smiled after that one. He smiled and became more insolent and more lackadaisical and careless. Rockman got inside and hit him a terrific straight right hand. Just a perfect shot. He had not thrown many right hands through the fight. Lewis lived down to his preparation for the fight. Absolutely. He just drowned in Ocean's 11. <laughs> That's another brilliant line. <laughs> <laughs> drowned in Ocean 11. How's he going to explain this to Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Julia Roberts, Matt Damon, and all of his co-stars on the movie? He can tell them it, it was a stunt. <laughs> There's the stunt, a brilliant right hand by Rachman. George, you said overconfident before the fight. You and he showed it. it throughout the fight, didn't he? And uh, Rachman came in, became a local hero. The people cheered for him all the time. Well, he spent more than a month here. He did what he was supposed to do to prepare for the one big chance in his life. If you're not serious, do not come to Africa. You will get your title taken. So here it is. It ranks right up there with Don't James say Braddock knocking okay. out Max Bear. Okay, that's Don't worry, George. <laughs> Braddock Bear. Leave me be. <laughs> Cassius Clay beating Sonny Liston in Miami Beach, Thank 1964. You. James Buster Douglas knocking out Mike Tyson in Tokyo. Here is a fight to go with those as one of the four biggest upsets in the history of the heavyweight division. What a wonderful and now let's feeling. go to Dr. Pollock for the announcement of a new heavyweight.